who's winning the ACC in 2024. So right now I got it pulled up, um, the odds, and this is from FanDuel. You can use DraftKings, uh, Caesars book, MGM. There's a ton of different books out there uh, depending on what state you live in. But I'm going to use FanDuel uh, currently, one of the more popular betting websites. But uh, just taking a look at this from, from top to bottom, and I want to go through a few things here before I get started. Now, I bet quite a bit on college football. Um, I'm not saying you have to tell me or, or put the, mon the amount of money that I put down, but uh, what I like to do normally is, let's say, for example, we're going to just use $100 here. I would, you know, if I think one team is really going to win um, a conference title this year, I'll put $100 on that. So, for example, if I think Clemson's going to win the ACC this year, if I put $100 down, um, I would get back, if Clemson would win it, $280. So this kind of being a different type of uh, way I want to do this this year, especially with the ACC and probably the Big 12 as well, I think there could be – there's not really an odds-on favorite to me to win the ACC this year. I think there's a couple teams. Um, if you guys don't know, the ACC last year, Florida State won it with that remarkable – um, season they had last year. Um, I did win a bunch of money last year on Florida State. I actually picked them to go undefeated, so it worked out pretty well. Um, Jordan Travis went down. was kind of scary, but they still pulled it off in the ACC title game against Louisville last year. But long story short, um, I think there's multiple teams. So, yes, the ACC has been dominated by Clemson in you know years past. I think in 2021, Kenny Pickett, Jordan Addison, Pittsburgh won it. I think the 2022, I think, might have been Clemson. Then last year was Florida State. So, it's it's you know been Clemson top heavy especially the last ten years. I would say this year for me personally, and if you look at the odds here, it's plus two eighty four Clemson and Florida State. They're tied, so that means most betters, you know, books and the betting public basically thinks that hey, yeah, this kind of split on Clemson. The other half has taken basically Florida State. So um, I'm going to start with each team here. I'm kind of going to break it down. And if you guys follow the I eighty boys, we have already talked about a couple of these teams. We will be talking about more of these teams coming up as well. Uh, so if not, check those out. I'll leave those in the description. Like I said, from top to bottom here, we're going to go through this. You guys can tell me, you can fade me. You can let me know that I'm a complete idiot and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I've been doing this for about 20 years now. Um, I'm usually pretty profitable. I actually like doing these more than I do the win totals, but, uh, Moving on, we'll get started here, and uh, we'll talk about Clemson since they're at the top of the list here. Um, and before I start, I forgot to add this as well. For the ACC this year, I'm going to, instead of putting just $100 down on one team here, and I do use more money in that, I'm just using that number to be uh, to make it easy, if you will. I'm going to break this down into probably four teams. Um, so what you can do is put $25 on four teams, and if one of those wins it, with the odds being the way that they are here, you're going to come out pretty profitable for the most part. So here's my thing. I do think Clemson has a chance to win the ACC this year. I actually have Clemson probably, probably in my in my book anyway, I think they're going to get it done this year. But what I'm going to do, I'm not like 100% sure because I think there's a few other teams this year in the ACC that are going to be pretty good and might surprise some people. So, you know, we know what Dabo can do. We know last year was, what, 9-4. and four. Um, Their offense to me was pretty mediocre they turned the ball over a ton reminded me a lot of my team nebraska last year um the defense was really good and it has been good under Dabo. they have the entire time he's been there it kept them in a lot of games last year we know they lost to duke earlier in the season last year that was a really good game but uh, clemson just didn't play well just seems like kate klubnick they, they just couldn't get that offense going man and, and he's got to be better this year i've been hard on kate klubnick but like you can't name a wide receiver either anymore on Clemson's program. I don't understand kind of what's going on. We, we could talk about Dabo and how he doesn't believe in the transfer portal, essentially. But, you know, they, they lost Will Shipley. They're, they're all uh, conference running back last year. But they do get Boy Maffa back. He's a really good back. He played a ton. He was kind of like the 1B to, you know, Will Shipley's uh, 1A last year. But um, my thing with Clemson, though, overall, is is if Kate Klubnick can play better, and I think he he will. I don't think he could, I hate to say this, I don't think he could play much worse than he did last year. I think the offense should be better. The defense, I think, still will be sound. They return enough people there that I think they'll still be you know very very competitive for an ACC title, and they would be my favorites to win it. So I'm going to put probably 25 percent of whatever amount of money I want to put down on here on Clemson to win this. Maybe a little more. I still in my book. In my estimation, I think that they'll be a really good team yet. Um, we'll move on here. Florida State. Now, this pains pains me to say this because Florida State made me a ton of money last year. Like I said, I picked them to go undefeated, but this is 2024. Um, they lose a ton of production. Johnny Wilson, 
Keon Coleman. Both their their stud wide receivers are off the NFL. We obviously lose Jordan Travis, um, and I think they lost. Yeah, they lost Trey Benson as well. They're they're all conference running back as well. So. Um, what Norvell does this year is going to be interesting because I think Florida State is a good team. I don't think they're going to duplicate what they did last year. I think last year was just an, a remarkable season, and it was really unfortunate because when Jordan Travis got hurt, that offense took a big step back, and it should have because Jordan Travis was a great player. He played there for quite a few years, had a lot of experience. Um, we know what happened, and I'm not going to get into the whole, you know, them not being selected into the the Final Four teams last year, but – Kind of a heartbreak deal for Florida State, but I think this year they're going to take a little bit of a step back. I do think Norvell is a good recruiter. I do think he does a good job in the transfer portal. I do think he's a really good coach, and Florida State's needed that. They've had um, tough times before he got there. So um, what I'm going to do with Florida State, though, I do not think they are going to win the ACC, and I'm actually putting my money down that they don't. So I am not putting any money on Florida State, unfortunately, to win the ACC this year. Moving on to Miami. Now, we've talked about them on the I-80 boys over here. If you, not, if you haven't, like, checked that video out, the predictions video, we do do, you know, we do um, prediction videos and record predictions on every single team almost in the Power Five. I have Miami going 9-3 and three this year, and I think that's a great season for Miami. I think Miami fans would be, even be excited if they do go 9-3. and three. Their schedule is relatively tough, but the thing with Miami is – Cam Ward. And I watch Cam Ward play a ton at Washington State. I think he's a really good quarterback. I think he's going to put up good numbers. He's going to be better and more consistent than Tyler Van Dyke, who's now off to Wisconsin. But the big thing with me with Miami, it's not their defense. Their defense is sound, solid. They have a top 15 recruiting class every year. They got more talent on the field than most of the teams they play. Unfortunately, talent doesn't win you games. It puts you in positions to win games, but you got to be able to coach. And that's what I'm getting to here with Cristobal. We all know what happened against Georgia Tech last year. It seems like they lose one or two games a year on boneheaded coaching decisions. Now, I like Cristobal. love the recruiting aspect, but he's going to have to be better coaching. I, I mean, seriously, with the talent that they have this year, Miami needs to win some football games. They haven't played for an ACC title now in I don't know how many years. I think it, they've only made it once since they've been over to the ACC, which is kind of weird. I'm almost 40 years old, and... I remember growing up in the 90s, and Miami was unbelievable. Um, early 90s, you know, late, early 2000s, they were awesome. Excuse me, early 2000s, they were great. Um, it's, it's been a while for Miami. And I think this year, though, I think they're going to be a really, really good team. I think they're going to be tough. I'm going to put 25% on Miami to win the ACC this year. I think there's an opportunity in a way that they can do that. Um, a lot of that rides on Cam Ward and in that offense. It, it truly does. But talent-wise, Miami is through the roof talent-wise again this year. So I do like Miami. They're one of my teams. Moving on now to Louisville. This one's a tough one for me. I like Brom. I watched him coach a ton over here in the Big Ten at Purdue. He did a great job there. You know, Purdue's in the toilet now basically since he's left. So we know that he's a good coach. Um, what he did at Louisville last year was awesome. Now, I have to admit, I wasn't very high on Louisville last year. Um, a lot of people told me they were going to be good. I didn't listen necessarily, but they had a great season. Um, they beat Notre Dame. They beat a bunch of good teams. I think their one loss, surprise loss, was like the pit last year out of nowhere. They got their ass kicked for some reason. But Louisville, they, they lose pieces too. They don't have Plummer back, a quarterback. They got the, I think his name is Tyler Schlau, the kid that was the transfer from, I think he played at Tech last year, got hurt, but then he was at Oregon before that. You know, he's a talented kid. Um they lose a little bit off the running game, too, as well. They lose Jamari Thrash, their, their all-conference wide receiver. I think the defense will be good again. I do over there at Louisville. They kind of carried them in some games last year. And, you know, what's unfortunate is I just – it's not that I don't believe in Brom. I just don't know – if they can repeat, I got almost got, I'm a, I'm a big guy to see it again to believe it type of thing. I think he's a good coach. I just, Louisville, man, it's a tough one for me to peg. And I think what I'm going to do is probably put 25% of my, my bankroll down on that one for whatever I'm betting on the ACC. So we'll just use $25, for example, like I've been using. I think there's an outside chance that Louisville can win the ACC this year. I do. It's just, I'm not, <laughs> this isn't one that I'm like, God, I just love this pick, but Louisville should be able to compete this year. I have them going only eight and four, but there is a way um, that they can go ten and two and make an ACC title game without a doubt. So, there's my other team that I like. I don't love, but I like. Now we're going to move on to NC State. Um, I want to talk about actually NC State and SMU together here. NC State been getting a lot of offseason hype. You know, this is a team that I you know I think they won eight games last year, something like that. 
you know, nobody really talked about them. And I'm not going to sit and come on here and say I know a ton about NC State, but I think they're they're a tough team. They're not a real pretty team to watch, but they're going to win some games. They are. And I know they return a ton. So, like, I know that they're going to be, you know, one of these programs that's, you know, they're, they're, they're building up something, I think, there. You know, you, you think of NC State, and I think of their, you know, the women's basketball team and their men's basketball team. If you guys watch basketball, both of them made the Final Four this year kind of out of nowhere. You know, we, we're talking football, obviously, but it's like, man, I, I I don't know if I can put any money down on NC State just because I have never really seen them do anything as in compete for an ACC title game. So I'm going to write them off the list. I think they're going to be a tough team to beat, though. I do, I do think that. Same with SMU. And what I mean by SMU, this is kind of interesting. They come over from, what, the AAC last year where they won it. Um, I believe last year, though, they were 0-3 against uh, Power 5 schools, though. And I do think SMU is a good team. They got something kind of building down there. I do think they're better, obviously, than a majority of the teams in the ACC. I do not, though, think that they're better than Clemson or Florida State or Miami or Louisville or even NC State, for that matter. I don't think that. I actually don't think they're better than Virginia Tech. Um, so the odds here are kind of interesting to me. There are people putting money down on it. Um, you know, obviously the odds makers think that they're better than a majority of the ACC. SMU is not a team, though, that I ain't going to put any money on this year. I do think that they'll have a good season, meaning maybe they win eight games, but uh, not an ACC title. Virginia Tech. Now, anybody that's been following this channel this offseason knows that I'm really high on Virginia Tech. I'm going to tell you guys right now, that's where my other uh, team is coming from and my 25% that I'm going to put down on them. Um, so I actually have Clemson, Miami, Louisville, and Virginia Tech. That's how I'm splitting my money up here. Um, I think one of those four teams is definitely going to probably play in the ACC title game. Now, hopefully they win it and I get a pretty good kickback. If that's VT, I get a pretty good chunk of change there. So the thing with VT, we know what, what Drones is at quarterback. They return literally basically their whole offense. I think Virginia Tech uh, returns more than percentage-wise than any other team in college football this season. They, they won five out of the last seven games last year. They looked really good in their bowl game. Um, Pry's been doing a great job down there. They're kind of a defensive-minded team. They're tough. Um, you know, I'm not going to say these are the VT days of when Marcus and Michael Vick were there, Tyrod Taylor back in the 2000, early 2000s. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. But I think they can have a season this year where they play for an ACC title. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and, and drop a little bit on them. North Carolina. This one actually kind of surprises me. They're even in the middle. I think, you know, I've knocked on North Carolina a lot the last couple of years because I thought talent-wise with Drake May and all those receivers under Mac Brown, that they should have won more games or at least competed or maybe won an ACC title game. Um, now I think they're on the downward slope. Um, they don't seem to play much defense over there. I don't really know what's going on with Mac Brown. I know he's getting older. I don't think he'll be coaching a lot longer. I think he's a legendary coach, don't get me wrong, um, especially at his time at Texas. But it's like, God, North Carolina is one of these teams that seems like every year – you know, before the season started, oh, they're going to be nine and three, ten and two. This is the year, and it just—they—they they seem to choke. You know, they didn't have the year they wanted last year. I know North Carolina fans are probably kind of disappointed in that. Um, I don't think they have even a snowball chance in hell this year of doing anything in the ACC. I may be wrong. You can tell me I'm an idiot, but uh, sorry, Tar Heel fans. Syracuse. Now, this is one that has been getting a lot of buzz this off season. Um, I know with the new coach, <clears throat> I like him. They get Kyle McCord, the quarterback from Ohio State, that they didn't want. They brought in a bunch of pieces from the transfer portal. You know, Syracuse has been one of these teams every year. It seems like lately that, hey, we start off 4-5-0, and oh, and then they end up losing like five of their last six. I think Syracuse is going to be a good team. And what I mean by good is maybe seven, six, seven wins this year. I don't think they're going 10-2 and two like some people are predicting. I just don't. Um, I think it's going to take a little time over there. I think Syracuse is going to have to prove it to me and probably prove it to the most of the ACC that they belong in the upper echelon of um, ACC title contenders here. Uh, it surprises me, though, that, man, I mean, 4,200, that's crazy odds as far as, like, if you want to put $100 down and Syracuse somehow wins it, which, I mean, there is an opportunity and a chance and a, a way that they can, that's a big return. Um, I'm not one of those people. I may be wrong. Um, Syracuse maybe becomes, you know, a nine and three team this year and somehow backdoors their way into an ACC title game and somehow wins it. Yes, that could happen. But, um, I'm not one of those people moving on. Um, Cal, uh, who is Cal? Is there even five fans on the internet that even root for Cal? Cal's coming over from obviously the disbanded pac 12. They weren't very good over there. I don't see how they're even 
even in the middle, honestly, odds wise. I don't think Cal will be much this year. I'm not even going to talk about them. Georgia Tech surprised me as low as they are. Um, Georgia Tech, we we did a preview video on this. Their schedule's brutal. I think Georgia Tech's a decent team. Um, I said it on the channel a couple weeks ago. I said I think Georgia Tech's going to have like a six and six type of record, but be a much better team than they were last year, even though they won seven games. It's one of those deals, I think, for Georgia Tech. I like what Brett Key is doing there. It's been a while since Georgia Tech has been relevant. We know that, but they do have some talent. They're kind of a tough football team, and I think they're going to win a few games this year. They probably shouldn't. They're probably going to lose a couple games. They probably shouldn't. So. Um, G GT though, as far as odds on winning, I, I'm not putting any money on them to do anything this year. Uh, Duke Elko's gone. I like Mike Elko. What he did at Duke is probably one of the craziest runs he had, or I've seen out of a coach recently when he got there, I think they won like three games and then he was only there for like two years, turned around and won 15 or 16 games in two years. Um, they got Manny Diaz now who Miami let go to get Mario Cristobal. I think Diaz is a good coach. It'll be interesting to kind of see what he does at Duke this season. Um, they don't have any Riley Leonard. He went to Notre Dame, as we know. I think it's going to be a tough season for Duke. But I think, you know, give Duke a couple years and, and Manny Diaz, I think they might start building something there, unfortunately, for 2024. I just don't think it's going to be the year for Duke. Pittsburgh. Um, man, Pittsburgh's really fallen the last couple of years. And it's kind of sad because, like, Pitt's been always, like, one of those, like, I remember as a kid and even in high school and college, like, Pitt's always one of those, like, tough teams. Hard to win there. Um, physical football usually has a couple really good players, whether it's really good running back or really great defense or even a good quarterback like Kenny Pickett. Last year, I, I don't know what the hell happened. They had a bunch of problems internally in that program. You can't tell me any different. I could go through all that. We talked about it on this channel last year, but it's like Pitt's one of those weird teams. Like they, they beat the shit out of Louisville last year, but then turned around and lost to like Virginia or somebody. It was it was just a weird season. They didn't win many games. Um I, I don't have any faith in Pitt this year. I don't think they're doing anything, so I'm writing them off the list. Um, kind of odd that they that they put Virginia Tech again. This has got to be a, a typo. Obviously, we know VT is right here, but uh, this is Virginia. And the thing with Virginia is, man, who, I, Virginia isn't doing shit. I'm not even going to talk about them. They're going to be one of the worst teams in the ACC. Same with Boston College. I know last year they showed some signs of life against Florida State early in the season. That game was close at the end of the game. But no way in hell. Wake Forest, come on. And then Lonely Stanford, uh, yeah, that's, Jesus, man, plus 50,000. That's crazy. Uh, Stanford's going to be one of the worst teams in the country, um, unfortunately. I hate the shit on Stanford. This isn't the uh, Andrew Luck days or when Harbaugh was there. So, yeah, overall, though, my four teams, and I'll go through it one more time here and talk a little bit about it again, but like I have Clemson. I split my money up, like I said, for example, and I'm going to use $100. I'm going to put $25 on Clemson. I'm going to put $25 on uh, Miami, $25 on Louisville, and then I'm going to split that and put $25 on Virginia Tech. Now, like I said, that's not exactly what I'm doing. I'm not going to let you guys know what I bet every single week, but it's much more than that. But that's what I'm using for simple math terms. So those are my four favorites to win the ACC. Now, I do not, like I said, pick four for every conference. The Big 12, I might have three or four there. Um, and I'm going to continue to put these videos out and see um, what your guys' thoughts are. I'd like to know in the comments who you think is winning the ACC. Let me know. Um, tell me, like I said, if I'm an idiot or if you agree, if you want to tail, you want to fade me. Um, but these are these are the four teams that I think that's going to do something this year. And I, like I said, I don't want to shit on Florida State, but Florida State, I just don't think they can repeat what they did last year. It's hard to win back-to-back -back in anything, so I'm not going to be putting any money on my, my Seminoles this year. But, um, you know, like I said, let me know in the comments, guys. I'm kind of rattling on here, but I appreciate it. Uh, let me know, and uh, we'll see you then.